Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. Should we show our faces? Go on then. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so this is Aqua Spirit and this is the boat that we're going to show you today and this is a sponsored hire boat. So I'll just explain a little bit about what a sponsored hire boat is before we walk through it and while we're waiting for people to join us. So all our hire boats are sponsored, which means that somebody has bought the boat and they've chosen the design. There's, there's four designs to choose from uh, and we build to that design, but they get to choose the interior. So they'll come into our studio and they'll choose the Roman blind fabric and they'll choose the dinette seating fabric. Um, and they sort of help us put together the interiors. So that's, it's, that's their personal touch on the hire boat. Uh, they own it, but it goes into our hire fleet and um, they also get up to four weeks hire themselves in the season and the rest of the time it's hired out as part of our hire fleet and uh, the owner then gets a return of all the bookings that come through. So in the first two years it's 38% and thereafter for the last three years it's 32% just because we have a much higher maintenance. So all our boats are sponsored, which is why they're so lovely and they're kept so nice because our team keep them lovely and they're all quite new because they only stay in the fleet for five years. So you're never, you're never going to get a really old boat because it only really stays in for five years. And then at the end of the five years, the owner takes the boat away and they sail off into the sunset and they enjoy the retirement um, if that's what they want. Or sometimes they sell the boat. So sometimes you will see them come up for sale. So it means you're owning a boat. Hello, everybody. I I'm here too. I'm behind the camera. Yeah. So hello I hope that was understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say hello to David. He's joining us from the British Virgin Islands. Oh, very good. So we're worldwide again today. Uh, hopefully you can hear us. Uh, I'm sure somebody would have said if the uh, sound was not working properly. But yeah, so the sponsorship scheme is, uh, have been a very popular scheme for us. All the boats in the fleet are now sponsored. They're all sponsored. Um, and it's it, it's perfect solution really. Yeah. If you, uh, want a boat uh, but you still haven't got time to permanently use it we can hire it out and you get some income back and we also obviously get some income and the customers are happy because they're all new sh newish boats only f maximum of uh, five years old um, so it's working for everybody really uh, but i think hello, i did Adrian. quite well there because i actually talked and walked you did so. talk and walk talked and walk so we've got two boats uh, in the boathouse at the moment oh hi daryl daryl's joining us from south africa yep uh so yeah truly are worldwide today um so two boats in the uh boathouse at the moment we've got uh aqua spirit that is just obviously a baby about to launch we're launching this boat next week uh, and then we've got uh, another boat Thistle down, this Thistle one. down, which is going to be a serial hybrid. And this is the boat we're working with Auto Marine on. Hello, Philip. Um, so, uh, yeah, this one uh, has just been started. So it's just been spray foamed, spray foam insulation. So we'll quickly just put the camera in so you can see. Uh, so we're just working through wiring looms at the moment. So we'll start on that. This uh, the wiring looms tomorrow. Uh, but you can see that the, all the spray foam has been cut back and ready to go now so we can start with the wiring looms i've been cutting holes in the hull for the toilet fittings and the water tank fittings so there we go this is thistle down hi phil nice to see you well nice to see that you've joined us uh, so yes it'd be an interesting build to work with auto marine and uh, she's a 57 foot boat semi cruiser Obviously needs to be blasted yet. We sandblast all the boats and then they get two packs spray painted. And it's a similar arrangement to Speedy Whippet with the um, hatch, the top opening hatch and the steps up and out the boat uh, with the, uh, the enclosed bow, the bedroom at the front there. Okay, so we're gonna have a take a look on board Aqua Spirit and show you on board what we do in terms of the sponsored hire boats. Did you want to go up first, Jane, or no. did you want me to go up? I'd like you to go up first. You want to go? Oh, okay. Yeah. Am I shouting? No. I'm a bit like that chap on the telephone when they shout. <laughs> yes. So uh, it's a boat obviously in our colours, nice bright blue 
red and cream. So even though it's a higher boat, we still make a lot of uh, effort to make sure they look spick and span and correct. Ash and oak fit out with a cross bed at the front here. Should we try putting the wide lens on? Oh yeah, let's just try that. Do you want to just hold it then whilst I have a, I can hold it. a quick look? I can never remember which of the lenses it is. So we're just going to put the wide angled lens on just to see whether... Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, let me just see it's in the middle. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Hello. <laughs> 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 you were trying to avoid it, weren't you? Oh, <laughs> Won't work. I'm just going to open these windows just to get the Wi-Fi signal in the boat a little bit better. All double glazed. Uh, all the high boats now are double glazed. Um, makes a big difference in terms of condensation on the glass. Um, and obviously it's good for our sponsors when they take over the boats as well. We are launching, we've relaunched some new designs of the, the uh, sponsored boats that we're hoping that uh, uh, we can expand a little bit and have another base. Um, we're just um, marketing at the moment for new sponsors. So if you're interested in a sponsored uh, hire boat, get in touch with us. Uh, we're doing a, we would like to do a two to four berth boat, um, which will have a uh, breakfast bar in. So it'll be a two berth, Jane's just... <laughs> said that to me <laughs> it's not a two to four berth it's actually a two berth boat Won't it's be a, a luxury berth. Two it'll be berth. a luxury to, so it'll have a sofa in it and a breakfast bar in it and dangling lights and all sorts so uh, that'd be quite an interesting one to do as a sponsored boat so yeah if that's something that's of interest to you get in touch uh, yes so front cabin uh, cross bed king size cross bed uh, wardrobe space either side yes we've got wardrobe space this side and yeah. that side lots two wardrobes of, lots either of side storage yeah, yeah. Um, wall lights and um, little shelves in the corner central heating switch in here as well so you can stay in bed and turn the central heating on on a cold spring morning or autumn morning and these crossover beds are really popular design on our high boats isn't it because it means it's um, like a, a big size double yeah king size is it yeah and also it makes the boat a bit more spacious because you're yeah. not taking length down the boat yes uh, you're just taking length uh, across the boat so you're utilizing the space a bit better so this is a 58 foot boat uh, so we've, we've obviously got quite a lot in this boat because it's a six berth boat but it still feels you know nice and spacious so i'll just come through i'd like to show everybody the floor which i think is lovely yeah having bone floor just open the windows in here as well just to make sure we're getting some so we've got lovely floor signaling. this is the first time we've done a herringbone floor so it does look really beautiful as you're coming in. And uh, material for the bungs, nice Kingfisher fabric. Yeah. So that goes all the way through the boat. So uh, John, the owner of this boat, chose the, the fabric. So uh, just because it's a sponsored boat doesn't mean that the owner doesn't get a, a choice of uh, finishers and flooring. He chose the flooring, uh, the style and the colour of the flooring. Um, handles yeah fabrics i mean we say you've got a choice and you do have a choice but we very much help you on your way oh, yeah. don't we yeah we know what works got, better we've got lots of fabrics and you know things like that in our studio so we do very much help you and guide you along yeah, yeah. i mean we with, know we know the colors that work best yeah and we know certainly with the higher boats we want to make sure that all the fab fabrics on board are resilient to uh, wear and tear so we use certain types of fabric with a high martindale uh, which is like a rub test uh, that hotels use so we want to make sure that all the fabrics on board are, are going to be still in good condition when the owners take the boats over in in five years time so uh, yeah we'll we'll advise and guide guide we'll yes guide. guide we'll guide are you saying we've got a slow connection? So I yeah, hope... I think it's because we're sort of yeah. we've not got two sets of side doors. I hope everyone can still are still with us. So walk through bathroom in here, so nice and spacious. Oh, see you later. <laughs> I think I'll give it to you this yeah. part so you can see better over there. Do you want me to shut these doors yeah. up? So you can see when the doors are shut, you've got the full width of the boat in here. 
so it does uh, make it feel nice and spacious as opposed to a, a, a boat with a corridor in it and a bath um, a bath a door into the bathroom and you're sort of uh, skirting around to get in and out of the shower and on here we've got a quadrant shower so it's a big quadrant shower there we go and uh, again quartz worktops i don't know whether you can see that but all the worktops are sparkly they've got little bits of sparkle in them just to add a little bit of extra interest a nice semi-recessed basin you taking control again jane i do like to take control camera <laughs> there we go nice big wall mirror as well we use a lot of these wall mirrors don't we just to make them yes yeah visually feel bigger and add more light into well, you the do cabins need a, you need a mirror in your bathroom anyway to clean your teeth and yeah do you make up and wash yeah. your face yeah. and i don't do my makeup in the bathroom <laughs> where do you do your makeup <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, twin bedroom that also converts to a double so this bed slides across for a double bed as well uh, we find that having a real flexible layout and the high boats is better for occupancy yeah. uh, which is obviously better for the people hiring because it means they can have friends or family it's better for the um, owners of the boat as well because of course the more occupancy the more revenue it's generating for the owners as well and and this this room because we have you know we I mean just didn't actually do a lot of cleaning on, on a Saturday uh, so we're very familiar with all the boats but this second cabin does is very versatile because it, it can sometimes be a family with two children or three children because you can sleep in the uh, saloon area or it can be two couples and then they do want two two double beds yeah. so uh, it, it this this is very often changed isn't yeah. it between a double and two singles yeah so really the, flexible. that versatility is a big big bonus isn't it yeah and it, and also this there's a telly in this room, the next yeah, telly. Yeah, additional so. TV in here with DVD, so it means that if you have got kids, uh, you can farm them off into a different <laughs> bedroom. Um, again, because it's a high boat, we, we try and make the storage uh, as practical as possible and, and plenty of it as well. Uh, you've got two drawers under each uh, berth, <clears throat> as well as um, a wa another wardrobe, full height wardrobe with hanging space. So although it's a higher boat, <coughs> it um, still has a lot of practical storage space, which is what you want on your holiday if you've got your cases with you and things. Yeah. And again, little wall lights, little reading lights, little shelves. <laughs> yeah, little practical shelves. Practical space for and phones and things. And the little shelves have uh, sockets above them, so yeah. you can charge your phone. Yeah. Bring your charger. Yeah. And your charger plug. That's it. As bring much as possible, we, we make them uh, as practical as possible. You know, don't we? Yeah. We, have a, we I want to think show you about the Roman blinds. Used. You know, I always like to show these Roman blinds. Look how it's beautiful lovely, they the are. Really beautiful Roman blinds there. And they're all throughout the boat, the same design. Yeah. So the same over this side. Really beautiful. And then into the saloon. Yes. Love nice the orange and the uh, teal. It is teal, isn't it, this? this. Teal, yes. Yeah, teal. Um, I think it's actually Mallard. Mallard. The actual name of name it. Name of yeah. it, yeah. Um, and this is really nice because it's got some nice button detail in like a burnt orange. Yeah. Mm. I think it's the first one we've done with orange in it, isn't it? Yeah, I think But it picks so. out the kingfisher, doesn't it? It's yes, sort of on the long yeah, that yeah. theme of the yeah. orange in the turquoisey, bluey, teal colour. Um, and what we try and do, Jane tries to do, is if somebody has a material on the uh, blinds, then we'll uh, print some extra fabric and uh, we'll Put make little cushions. cushions. So it yeah. just carries that accent through the boat, doesn't it? Yeah, that it looks theme. really nice. Um, bed, uh, big L-shaped dinette, converts to two singles as well as one double as well. So again, you've got that versatility. Really flexible in here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And, and Robert Allen said hello, Justin and Jane. Hello, Rob. Hi, Robert. You're all right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... Um, and can we tell the customers what these are for on the floor? These are for the tables, which reside just over here. And we've got the old uh, Desmo legs that go in them. Yeah. And then you just take your table off like so. 
yeah. make yourself a little table. You and can so actually two spin of it those. round. So you've got a corner. We put a corner. I'd take the chamfer off so when people walk through, they're not, they're not yes. going into the corner. I like your little demo. <laughs> <laughs> So it can be spun around. <laughs> but these are really great out there because there's two. So you can just have one table up or you can have two tables yeah. up. And it could seat six people, four people too. So yeah. it's really flexible. Yeah, we put you extra couple chairs under the dinette. So you can take your little fold out chair so you can sit on yeah. the side as well. So you um, can, if, you, if you're eating, you can have them up, then you can take them down if you want the people, space. Yeah, people have them just one table up permanently. Yeah. So, they, so they can, you know, just use it practically. Yeah, um, so yeah. really flexible this space is, isn't it? Yeah. Nice TV unit, lots of yeah. carpentry in that, really beautiful. Fully central heated, so we're Basto on here again, so uh, the, the boats get lovely and warm in the in the winter or the spring. Uh, not that we hire over the winter, but if the owners, the sponsored owners want to go out in the winter, the boats are lovely and warm and cosy. Yeah. Um, and we put extra bits and bobs in for some sponsors if they want certain extra looms for sockets in the future. We don't mind doing that. On the high boats, we put extra looms in uh, for uh, solar panels. If the sponsored owner wants to have solar panels fitted when they take over the boat. Um, so if there's anything we, that they want in the future, we'll try and do it for them during the fit out. It just makes it a lot easier and neater if wires aren't you know, across the roof. So if we can put it in during the lining process, we will do. It's not, it's no big shakes for us to put a few extra looms in. Uh, and ve we very often do that. Uh, well, we've this... got somebody from Prague. Oh yes. Somebody mentioned that we're joining us. Who's in love with Whip it, Speedy Whip It 2? Oh, okay. There's lots of people in love with Speedy Whip It 2. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a lovely boat. And, and can I just show you a little bit of artwork that we've got on the sides oh, yeah, here? Yeah. They're really pretty. Trying to pick out the oranges. Yeah. So uh, they look really yeah, good. Yeah, some photographs that have been artified. Artified, and also the lighting's really lovely in here because we've got all the lights on. So we've got the spotlights on yeah, and the so side lights on. But you can create a, an, you know, a lower, oh, a dimmer. That one, a, it's that one over there, and Jane. More ambiance. Yeah, just means in the evening if you there don't you want go. all the lights on. Uh, you can have the wall lights on. Yeah. It sounds silly, but that's actually we've only been doing the wall lights on the uh, sponsored hire boats for a couple of years, really, um, because it we you know it can be a bit too much if you've got spotlights on in the evening. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a nice little touch. Simon said, "Can we see outside back?" But I don't quite understand yes, what that means. Yes, you can see the stern. I presume the stern. Uh, is that what it means? Yeah. Stern. Yeah. <laughs> so semi-cruiser sterns are popular uh, stern. Uh, but yes, very we're making our step. way there, Simon. We're making our way there. We're just yeah. chatting, chattering as we go. Yeah. Um, quartz worktops, and actually, uh, we've started giving uh, sponsored owners the choice of the colour of the quartz now. Uh, and so I love this kitchen. John, uh, it, we used to just stick with black, um, but now we've started to change th a few things, yeah. and uh, John chose this lovely sparkly grey. I uh, love it. It looks so good. And Justin, you are matching the kitchen with your top. <laughs> so it was all planned. <laughs> I just want to show, see if I can show everybody the look. Oh, you can see the sparkle. See if I just sort of move about there. But it just looks, I mean, it looks so much nicer than what you can see on the camera because it's really sparkly and lovely. Yeah, you can see it really easily, can't you? The sparkle yeah. just adds that extra bit of interest and depth doesn't it yeah and, the, and all the units are sort of nice smooth grey and also the higher boats the sponsored higher boats still have all this beautiful curve that we have it's our signature curve isn't yeah. it and also what you don't always mention is the fact that the higher boats as part of the cost come with the complete inventory so uh, the tvs the microwave all the crockery and cutlery and uh tea caddies and knives and they're all included pan, pots and pans everything is included as is craning as is transport so the whole cost that you see includes everything whereas normally on a bespoke boat that's all extra and the reason we do that is because we we know as a company we earn some revenue from the actual rental uh, of, of the boat uh, so that's why we do that but it is a one package uh, cost yes isn't it? it is so it's really good value Shall we show everybody our little hampers that we're giving out to all oh, okay. our customers? So if you fancy coming on an Arabic holiday, this is what we get. So you get a little nice cake. little 
and they're all branded yes to get some biscuits because this year is i don't obviously if we've mentioned a number of times I'm probably I'm, I'm, <laughs> some people probably don't know our 20th, <laughs> 20th year of trading anniversary this year so we've been trading for 20 years um so we thought we'd um do a little bit extra special um yes yeah, got a nice little jam hamper so there's jams and what is it marmalade, marmalade. yeah i think we've tested all these haven't we we've had to we've had to eat them it's a hard life and even there's fruit a drops, tin, branded fruit drops there's a tin of travel sweets travel is it not fruit drops well they are called mixed fruit drops yeah. but i'd like to call them travel sweets, travel sweets. yeah and, so just and a, a little, lemon cake yeah and we put them all in a little hamper like that very sweet so everybody gets those when they arrive on the uh yeah the, uh, sponsored boats okay yes do i have a oven yeah do you we... want me to take over yeah take over there there we go yeah we have looked at gluten philip says uh, shame the cakes aren't gluten free yeah i have booked a holiday uh, yeah philip have you booked an holiday have you booked this? an holiday i'm sure we could arrange if you book a holiday with if this. you book a holiday <laughs> We'll sort That's out a, a gluten payoff. free cake. <laughs> <laughs> You've talked, backed yourself into a cor corner now, Philip. So yeah, we have looked at that. We are we are sort of uh, proactively looking at that because uh, our, I've been gluten free uh, last year, wasn't mm -hmm. I? So I know how difficult that can be. Uh, so uh, fridge there, and the fridge has a little ice box in it. Eye level, um, eye level oven. Yeah, he's going to book one now. He says, for "Oh, the, just for the yeah, cake, just for the cake." <laughs> <laughs> Um, again, storage in here, bags of storage, uh, some storage in that electrical cupboard at the back, but also in the heated locker. Again, we've got a heated locker in here uh, at the back for more storage. A little hatch area for books and guides and hats and uh, bits and bobs you might need when you're and cruising. And storage in the steps. Storage in the steps, yeah. Look good for the, uh, just the boots. That. Yeah. Boots and uh, shoes and things. Storage in there. And all these, mm, I don't know if you noticed, but we put even put these little pieces of plastic on just to help with some of the wear of the boat for the sponsored owners to try and keep them as nice as possible. All these little extra touches. It is on this one, David, it is a three burner. There we go, with a little uh, glass lid on. And would you believe we've had these, haven't we, where these have smashed these glass lids when yeah. people, bizarrely, I mean, I, I can understand it, really. They light the hob and then put the hob back down. And then and put, put the, the kettle on. Put the kettle on the glass <laughs> lid. I mean, it's a bit strange, isn't it? But that's happened before. These are all stories for my book that I'm bringing out when I retire. Well, that's not going to be an interesting no, story. Well, not really, is it? It fills a book, <laughs> fills a page, fills a paragraph. <laughs> There we go. So, yep, uh, filtered uh, water tap as well. Should we go onto the stern? Uh, draw storage as well. So, plenty of storage. Spacious galley, really, for a higher boat. It's really spacious, yeah. You know, saying that you are on a higher boat. Normally, on most high boats, everything's quite squashed in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, there's, there's loads of space. There's no there's really compromise space. with the boats we build in terms of higher. Plenty of storage everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so uh, stern. Spinning round, stable doors. These are very popular at the stern on the boats. So if you've got a pet, you're not having to let them uh, run out the back deck. We have got an apron that's coming for here, a dodger that's gonna come and be fitted shortly. Uh, so that will go on and they obviously unfold each side and clip onto the stern lockers. So we've got, um, this spacious cruiser stern, semi-cruiser stern. As demoed. There we go. Well done, Jane. Thank you. And these sterns are really, really uh, popular. Um, with the big locker spaces. Well, it just means that, you know, it's a sociable area, isn't it, where everybody can sit? Yeah. Yeah, you would have thought that, wouldn't you, really, Lady Zara? She'd um, saying that they should have a cut-off function, but they don't, unfortunately. So we can't change that. That's a manufacturer's thing. But they are a, a bona fide Thetford uh, leisure hob. But, yeah, it is a bit odd, isn't it? They don't have an automatic uh, cut-off on them when they put the glass lid down. There we go. Get the pad. Get the pad. Get my, get my, <laughs> get my lined pad. I'm going to send a letter. <laughs> there we go. And glazed doors at the back. 
and we provide little uh, uh, pads for those, don't we? For the the the, um, the door, the windows at the back. There we go, looking in. And Beta it, Marine engine, forty-three um, horsepower on this one, so plenty of power. On the higher and because boats. this is a higher boat, we have little signs, don't we, everywhere to remind the hirers, like slow passing moored boats. Oh yeah, it's always a top tip that one. Yeah. We just say to people that the number is on the side of the boat, so you know if people did complain, they just call us, don't they? Not, I don't think we've very rarely we get a complaint. No, do we? very rarely. Yeah, they are, Rob. They certainly are. The uh, flex teat we use, they, they do look stunning with flex teat. On the higher boats, we, we, you know, we just don't, because they get so much wear uh, and not and, everybody... And, and they're phenomenally expensive, it's expensive, so it would then add to the yeah, cost of the boat. Yeah, it adds to the yeah. cost, obviously. Everything has to be paid for. Uh, but um, they're fantastic. The decks do look yeah, superb. Look with lovely, that on, yeah. on, for a higher boat, it's just not practical, really. They look lovely. And on this one, the sponsor wanted a bow thruster. It's not for use for hirers, but it will be used for the sponsored owner. So uh, he, when he goes out, he can uh, utilize the bow thruster. Uh, so yeah, what we're saying is the Beta 43 on them, nice, refined, really good quality engines. And we put hospital silencers on them as well, uh, which means that uh, they're nice and quiet when you're cruising. Makes all the difference. Yes, Melanie Cooch joined us. Hello, Great for two Mel. dogs on the stern, yeah. They're definitely spacious enough for two, two oh, dogs on Mel, the stern. Oh, Mel, you could come on one of our higher boats yeah, now. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you have to book a holiday now, book Mel. Book a holiday now. Yeah. Now you've um, sold your boat. So we explain who Mel is. Mel yeah, is. so Mel, the camera seems to be not focusing very well. Uh, I put on the Vaseline. Oh, have you? Yeah. To make, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Sybil Shepherd in yeah. Moonlighting. <laughs> <laughs> Always look young, younger You've got and to be of a certain age to know what you're talking about there. Um, yes, Mal owned one of our bespoke boats. Well, no, the very, two. very, yeah, very first, first boat we ever built. Boat a bespoke we boat. ever yeah. built a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, and then had another not boat any, built. Not any bespoke boat, but the, the very, very first, first one. I think they're actually, Mal and Pete were one of the very first hirers as well. Ooh. So they've supported us all the way. I'm very thankful for that as well. So there we go. Aqua Spirit. Where are you going with this camera? I think I'm better on the I camera. I think you are. I just tend to wander around. <laughs> right, did you want to... Um, Should we go back, back take through? Take it through the boat, yeah. So we like to go nice and slowly. We go straight through the boat without stopping so you'll get the full experience now. Ooh. Are we doing it quietly? Well, I'm concentrating. <laughs> you can talk. I'll put the um, welcome pack back in its bag while it's your wandering. Can you just rustling? I'm not going to start on these biscuits just yet. Oh. So just in is spoiling my lovely experience of walking through the boat. Thanks, Ange. The, um, the kitchen and the flooring, I agree, looks beautiful. So we still have some availability for this boat available if you want to book a holiday on this on very Aqua boat. Spirit, yes, Spirit. it's in the water next week. Next uh, Tuesday it goes in the water and then the owner is taking her out for a few days from the Wednesday. Yeah, so if you do want to hire, go online or give us a call, either or. Yeah, all live availability on the website if you want to take a look. Yep. And I'll give you the number. Oops, steady Jane, you've just caught your dress there. Yes, but I'm a professional and I carried on. <laughs> <A> professional. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the website. Well done, so, Jane, there. Yes, Good marketing. See, thank you. So this is the website and the telephone do number. Let me do a little. <sighs> <laughs> like the price is right. Yeah, you could do that. So if you want to book the if you want to book this particular boat, we've got all the boats as well available. Um, in the summer, I think we've got still got some available for the summer. There we go. Thank you, David. That's very kind of you. So there we go. This is Aqua Spirit, and uh, she'll be launched next Wednesday, week. Wednesday is it? Wednesday, Tuesday, or yeah, Wednesday? Yeah, a week today. Uh, no, so it's not it's Tuesday, know. isn't it? Sorry, it's a week 
yesterday. Oh, John, you've lost a week. The owner will be taking her out on uh, a week today for a little cruise. And she's all ready with the cranes. Yeah, all ready to go with the cranes all being strapped up. We'll, fil we'll film that, people like yeah, to Yeah, we'll put that. photographs and things on when uh, we get to that point. Right, shall we Thank say goodbye? Thank you, Philip. Thanks, Rob. I'll say goodbye. Bye. Because Justine's Jane. got to hold <laughs> the camera. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> shall I say goodbye? I better say goodbye. I think everyone's gone. Oh, they've all gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Cheerio. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon, hopefully. Toodaloo. Thank you.